go with you if you want me. I guess I gotta do something. Island Pop. Get dinner and candles to light Popcorn for your movie night One stop and get it right It's that good We've got what you're looking for All the brands you love and more Get everything at Massey Stores Massey Stores is where you wanna be We take care of you like family We do our best we could To treat you like we should It's that good, it's that good Stores, our family serving your family. Hey Lisa, I really need you to cancel my 3 30 appointment. I need to get to kisses to you right now to redress some money. Peters, you need to take care of this right away. No. Time is of the essence especially with a jam-packed schedule. That's why KCCU's ATM services is the best thing you could have ever wished for. The treasure of convenience in the form of an ATM card that gives you the luxury of accessing your funds anytime and anywhere. So no more trying to beat the clock just to get cash. Now you can get your business done in minutes, then get back to your crazy packed life. Do things on your own time with KCCU Go. I pray we'll find your light And hold it in our heart When stars go out each night Remind us where you are So let this be our prayer When shadows fill our day Lead us to a place, guide us with your grace, give us faith so we'll be saved. Our world will pain and sorrow will be ended, and every heart 
that's broken will be mended and we'll remember that we are all God's children reaching out to touch you reaching to the sky need to find a place guide us with your grace give us faith so we'll be safe we'll now ask everyone to stand for the national anthem And gentlemen, it gives me the great and distinct pleasure of welcoming you to the royal return of Miss SVG here at the Arnesville Sporting Complex. I am one of your MCs for this evening. I'm Carlo Cato. And I am Nika Anderson Isaacs, your second host for tonight's show. It is indeed my pleasure to serve in this capacity in what is undoubtedly one of the most anticipated Miss SVG pageants. Correct indeed, and just like our audience, Nika, I too am expecting a fabulous show this evening. But folks, before we get started, let's please put our hands together for the, and appreciate the blessing that was delivered by Mr. Otto Essien, the National Anthem on Pan by Shemil Anderson, and also the saxophone interlude you had before, which was done by Mr. Omaro Thomas. And at this point, I'd like to invite on stage right now as we get ready to kick our show off officially the Minister of Tourism, Civil Aviation, Sustainable Development and Culture, the Honorable Carlos James, to deliver his opening remarks and officially open our show this evening. Thank you. Good evening and welcome. A few years ago, an honest human, quiet young lady walked into my office, then a practicing attorney and said she needed sponsorship for the Miss SOJ pageant. She later went, went on to win the Miss Esther 2011. She pursued her studies, returned and went into professional practice as a consultant in pageantry. And when a few months ago, I called Avia Charles and I said, I want you to lead the charge at the Beauty Shows Committee for the return of the Miss Esther Join me in congratulating Avier and her team for putting on a splendid display. You have seen months of excitement from these young ladies. They have gone into your communities and certainly into your hearts. Their community service projects, their volunteerism, and their general good nature and attitude. We could not have selected a better group of young ladies to grace the stage this evening. Their poise, their talent, their beauty, their intelligence. This is an embodiment of incension beauty and what we have to offer. Tonight, I'm here to welcome you to the royal return, Miss SVG 2022. Thank you.
hills, mountains high, high, high. Man, woman, every child. If you're proud to be Vinci, put your hands up high.
I pray for the God help me, yeah. I remember when I had no clothes I had. The one shot and pants we have. Me neighbors used to scare me, yeah. But I never forget what my mama told me. Son, you will get there. Satisfy with one until you get more strong. Don't grudge no one. Stay far from confusion. Don't kill nobody. Don't steal no money. Be patient, son. You will get your own and never forget it. Where you come from, yeah. Never, never forget. Never forget your roots. Your green banana and your rose red fruit. When you eat a lobster. And you just in the fancy. Never forget it. Where you come from, yeah. Never, never forget. Never forget your roots, the green banana and the rose red fruit. When you eat a lobster, and it just in the fancy. Never forget it, where you come from, yeah. Never, never forget. Big road, big road. She loved the road, the road, the road. Big road, big road. She loved the road. Number one, Palavi Brown, Miss Play 4, depicting fishing. Close your eyes. Imagine that you're in the most beautiful spot in the Caribbean. Now open your eyes and you are in Tobago Keys, one of the gem of the jewel of the Caribbean. The Tobago consists of five small islands, Petit Ramu, Petit Bretouille, Gadal, Petit Tabac and James Bay. Importantly, the marine park houses coral reefs, sea turtles nesting sites and feeding areas. The marine park is a subject of this cultural wear ensemble as it surrounds uninhabited caves and is home to hundreds of species of fish, lobsters, turtles, conch and other marine animals, too numerous to mention. The caves are a significant economic, cultural, social and environmental value to SVG. The Tobago Keys provide a sanctuary to a wide variety of animal and plants, some of which are facing extinction. Around the Keys exist the most extensive and well-developed coral reef complexes in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Through fishing, though fishing is an economic endeavor for many of our country's fisherfolk, it is not allowed in the marine park and is the use of fish pots could result in fines or incarceration. Tonight, the hope is to show that through, though we have an abundance of marine resources in our development, it is important to balance fishing as a cultural and economic enterprise and the perseverance of our marine environment for future generations. Not polluting our environment means our fisherful provides healthier seafood products and also means that we remain the beautiful gem of the Antilles. As Palavi leaves the stage in this masterpiece designed and created by Julian Ping Pollard, remember, fishing is important for culture and livelihoods, but equally important is policy on fishing for sustainability. Let us persevere our beauty. Good afternoon. Buenas noches. Good night. Five from the the vibrant sugar city of Georgetown, sponsored by an organiz organization that promotes sports and culture here in our Hiruna SVG. I am your contestant number one, Palapi Brown, Miss Play 4. Tonight, expect fun, expect excitement, and a little bit of drama. St. Vincent's and the Grenadines, welcome to the Royal Return. I hope you are ready. That was contestant number one, Palavi Brown, Miss Play 4, depicting fishing.
like old mass, Raquel's intention tonight is to have fun. The objective of this mass tradition is to be amusing and provoke thought and laughter. This four-piece costume is littered with some of the most memorable characters and components of old mass in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, as carnival grew and evolved, and the creation of mass of costumes were introduced to reflect historical and literary themes. The sailor-themed outfit represents one such theme, sailors coming ashore to enjoy the festivities. The cape of this magnificent piece, designed and created by the legendary Pilling Pollard, displays the monkey band, our version of what is regionally known as Jab Jab. Tonight's costume is taken to another level. For many years, Kong ruled the Monday Mass. The Bobo dancer, dancing on stilts as long as 15 to 20 feet in their colorful costumes, performed with great talent and skill. On the back of the cape is the whining donkey man, a unique Vinci take on a regional traditional character. The performer, mainly a man dressed as a woman, riding a wire, paint, a wire and paper painted donkey. On the other side, the boozy, the boozy back, an original character unique to Vinci Mass, is displayed. A two-person team, the beater, follows the beaten around, beating him about his body with a wooden plank. The beaten, however, is padded to prevent any injuries. In the middle lays the colorful depiction of the most colorful of the old mass portrayals, the maypole, which symbolizes the arrival of carnival. Ladies and gentlemen, Raquel Coombs portraying old mass. Standing before you is contestant number two, Raquel Coombs, and I'm sponsored by In Transit Exports. Tonight, I want you to sit and enjoy the show as I portray to you all mass. There she is, contestant number two, Miss In Transit Exports, portraying all mass, Raquel Coombs. At this point, we would like to welcome contestant number three, Shannon John Miss Sedko, portraying Walk the Land. According to the Ministry of Agriculture, to date there are over 11,897 registered farmers in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. 4,188 of them are women. Tonight, we introduce to you contestant number three, Shannon John Misedko, cultural wear entitled Walk the Land. She represents female farmers across St. Vincent and the Grenadines who dare to do what once considered a man's job. Yes, nowadays, women walk the land too. She wears a wide brimmed hat woven out of straw that is designed to shade the head and face from direct sunlight. She also carries a bunch of bananas on her head that literally signifies the fruit of her labor. On her feet are water boots that are equipped to walk in the land and protect her feet at all types of weather and rugged garden clothes that are contrasted with a gorgeous hand-painted full flared skirt. The image on the skirt depicts scenes of unspoiled farmland ready to be plowed. The belt she wears is used to reduce stress on her lower back while she lifts her crop and prevents black hyperextension during overhead lifts. Attached to the back of the skirt are handcrafted tools, a fork, hoe and shovel, and the tools she must use to walk the land and get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, Shannon John portraying Walk the Land. Mr. Taliman, tally me banana. They like come and me want go home. Good night, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the staging 
of the Miss SVG competition. I am Shannon John from the beautiful nature-oriented community of Vermont, and I am proudly sponsored by SEDCO, and I am also your contestant number three. The time is now, and I am here. Sit back and enjoy the show. And please put your hands together as we keep our cultural wear segments going for contestant number four, Miss Davin Shannon McLean, portraying Nine Mornings. As unique as the festival she depicts, Shannon proudly portrays one of our most treasured and unique Vincentian traditions, Nine Mornings. Shannon's portrayal begins as a Christmas present, then transforms to reveal exquisitely crafted hand-painted layers that reflect the multifaceted nature of our unique festival. Just as the first jovial morning transforms our communities from regular to spectacular, her colorful unveiling transports us to the most festive culmination of a tradition we love and enjoy as Vincentians. Elements of dancing, singing, and musical instruments resonate from her garment, moving rhythmically across the stage and filling the air with the spirit of Nine Mornings, our unique Vincentian tradition. December will soon be here, and this is your teaser for our unique Christmas festival, it's Nine Mornings by Shadden McLean. It's nine mornings. <laughs> Good evening, one and all. Happy Independence. I am contestant number four, Shadane McLean, proudly sponsored by Davin. Tonight, I have taken you to nine mornings. After, we are going to dawn in our swimsuit and go to the beach. We are going to then have an amazing time in the disco for talent. We're then going to glide across the stage in gown and then I'm going to prove my intellect in interview. The finale, you may ask, to be crowned. And of course, folks, when this... Our meals are essential part of Vincentian culture. Food brings us together. Tonight, Ariel will whet your appetite. We hope that you're hungry. You are in for a treat. Chef Ariel brought a lot to eat. Tonight, Chef Ariel presents to you Vinci Cuisine. Are we food? Are we culture? She starts by offering some ground provision and saltfish bol jiao. If that isn't enough, here you can delight yourself with a glass of local mobi. Yes, we're talking about Vinci culture and Vinci cuisine. In case you're feeling for something sweet, some hot dukuna should be a treat. And passion fruit in between, we're talking about sweet, sweet Vinci cuisine. When you feel for something hot, she offers you some Kalaloo soup from her pot. Not a fan of big tail, she knows what you mean. Then you can try some of her fish boiling. 
thunder and lightning will make you wake. But the next day, look out for the Madonga bakes and Chichi cake. Chef Ariel saved the best and most delicious for last. In St. Vincent and the Grenadines, it's the national dish. Sweet road breast fruit and jack fried jackfish. Enjoy this dish nice and slow. Wash it down with some cold golden apple juice and you're good to go. Vinci Cuisine, Are We Food? Are We Culture? by Chef Ariel Oliver. Proudly holding her own tonight, sponsored by the St. Vincent Brewery Limited, is your contestant number five, Ariel Oliver. Tonight, I am ready to entice you. I present to you, Vinci Cuisine. Are we food? Are we culture? And don't forget, don't eat and lie down. That was contestant number five, Ariel Oliver. Miss and Vincent Bureau Limited interpreting Vinci Cousine. And of course, today is a Saturday, and what usually happens on the mornings of a Saturday, it is market morning. So with that being said, we bring to you contestant number six, portraying market morning, Miss Flo Shania Peters. While everyone else sleeps, Kingstown comes alive early in the wee hours of the morning by local farmers. Traveling from both ends of the island and settling in the country's capital to sell locally grown produce. Tomatoes, lettuce, bananas here. Once you pass by, you hear the shouts of market vendors alerting you to what's available to be bought. This ensemble exudes the vibrant scene of market morning here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. A tradition that dates back to Caribbean slavery, where slaves took their produce on Sundays to sell in the market that one day, that one day where they felt free from the hardship of plantation work. As you fix your eyes on this masterpiece, the feeling that is evoked from visiting Kingstown on market morning is being echoed. Shania wears a hat that showcases a typical market breakfast of fried bakes, fish, and tea. The realism of this traditional market morning breakfast plays with all five senses. One can smell the aroma of the well-seasoned fish, taste the richness of the cocoa tea, feel the softness of the bakes, and hear the crunch as the market men and women enjoy this early morning feast. As she displays her uniquely designed cultural wear across the stage, the burst of colors immediately lets one imagine the market noises, the laughter of the people, and gleeful conversations heard from all sections of the city. A basket filled with three-dimensional fruits hugs her petite figure, also running from her shoulders, which depict strength and persistence of local farmers to provide for this country's population of, of over 110,000. Her dress is a cold shoulder design pipped with red and yellow madras fabric. The bottom of her dress is a fishtail design that has a hand-painted market scene on the front and back. This scene reflects the busy market life and the cultural importance of market mourning. The woman painted at the front pays homage to the hard work and contribution made by female farmers. The ensemble designed and made by Lisa Cordes of Pochel reminds us as Vincentians of our traditions and culture and to never forget the importance of market mornings. Ready for an experience of your life, one that you'll never forget. Since Vincent and the Grenadines, good night 
and welcome to my coronation. I am 22-year-old Shania Peters, flowing from the lively community of Paws Avenue. Brace yourselves for a night, a time, and a vibe like no other. Eight channels to choose from, but I'm urging you to choose channel number six, provided to you by the leading telecommunications company in our country, Flow. Beauty, poise, talent, and intelligence are all on tonight's 65th episode of Miss St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Make yourself comfy. Grab that remote. Ladies and gentlemen, this show has just begun. Press play. Portraying Market Mornings, contestant number six, Miss Flo Shania Peters. And now we welcome contestant number seven, Jada Ross, Miss Lotto, portraying from whence we came. Jada Ross graces the stage tonight as a strong, resilient representation of the Garifuna, the last bastions of resistance against the Europeans in the Euro Eastern Caribbean. Since 1763, our existence as a nation is rooted deeply in our heritage. And tonight, Jada highlights the union of our forefathers in her national headwear titled The Warrior Glory, a tribute to the marriage of our rich ancestry. Jada depicts a strong Garifuna woman, knowledgeable about her legacy and determined to chart her course and embrace her new trajectory. The Garifuna story must pay respect to our most paramount chief, the right excellent Joseph Chatelier, the only national hero of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Our dear chief face stands proudly at the top of Jada's national wear in black and white, symbolically representing our current legacy, a product of the Kalinago and African people. Jada proudly carries a symbolic representation of the obliques in her hand, with seven black stripes at the top symbolizing the number of days male Alexander Le lived after he murdered our beloved Garifuna chief. The rising sun on the back piece plays homage to the home of the militistic Kalinaga people who migrated from South America to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The semicircular sun highlights the dawning of a new day for the Kalinaga woman whose role traditionally was to engage in domestic duties and farming. Today, the woman occupies space in any and every sphere of Vincentian life. Note that her hands carry the vestiges of chains. Her corset is entangled in 43 gold rings which pays homage to her African ancestry and honor our independent nation of 43 years. Hiruna, home of the blessed. Jada War Paint honors her female ancestors who painted their face white to protect their skin from the scorching sun as they toiled in the fields all day. The color purple is seen throughout Jada's wear and represents the royalty and richness of an inner beauty so deep that it carries the weight of the dozens of heavy African jewels adorning Jada's costume. Jada is escorted by Cadmus Francois a direct descendant of the Karifuna people. Ladies and gentlemen, Jada Ross in all her warrior glory. Mabrika, Mabrika! I greet you in the tongue of my Kalinaga forefathers. I stand before you as a portrayal of the African and Kalinago people unified to create the Garifuna tribe. My name is Jada Ross and I am contestant number seven, Miss Lotto. I wish to extend to each and every one of you 
the most enjoyable experience this evening and the warmest welcome to the Royal Return. Arna's Vale Sporting Complex, I am in it to win it. And ladies and gentlemen, to round out our first judged segment this evening, put your hands together and welcome on stage, depicting Vinci Mass, Miss Massey Stores, contestant number eight, Tanik Swift. Contestant number eight, Tanik Swift, is portraying Vinci Mass, the hottest carnival in the Caribbean. And tonight, Tanik brings together all the explosive elements of Vinci Mass on stage. Vinci Mass, as we know it, incorporates traditional and modern elements. From the top of Tanik's cultural wear, it is evident that we have used headpieces and crowns. Headpieces were usually synonymous with Mardi Gras costumes while crowns have been used over the years for pageants such as Miss SVG and Miss Caraval. Tanik's costume tonight also showcases the traditional side of masquerading on Mardi Gras Day with the iconic cape and standard. Modern Mardi Gras, however, utilizes these features less, but at the same time captures the same or even more joy as carnival enthusiasts revel through the streets of Kingstown. Persons from all walks of life enjoy this festival, and this is symbolized through the many colors used for the costuming. Nearby, not notably one of the strands that ties Vinci Mass together over the years is the music. We still love our soca, calypso, and steel band culture. Today, we not only see this traditional side of the festival in practice, but we have attained worldwide recognition of our music, even recently at this year's Miami Carnival. Ladies and gentlemen, Tanik Swift portraying Vinci Mass. Vinci Mass, I tell you. Vinci Mass, a while. Hardworking, ambitious, and no food. These are words I use to describe my community. Mariaqua, the most vibrant community. Good night, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I am Tanik Swift, proudly sponsored by Massey Souls. Just as they say, Guavana bring life. So expect nothing but the best. Contestant number eight, Miss Massey Stores, Tanik Swift depicting Vinci Mass. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the end of our first judged segment. But before we move on, how about we take one final look at all of the beautiful cultural wear pieces, beginning, of course, with Miss Play 4, Palavi Brown. Then Miss in Transit Exports, Raquel Coombs. Miss Sedko, Shannon John. Miss Davin, Shadden McLean. Miss St. Vincent Brewery Limited, Ariel Oliver. Miss Flo, Shania Peters. Miss Lotto, Jada Ross. And Miss Massey Stores Limited, Tanique Swift. 
Let's give them some love, ladies and gentlemen. Let's show them some love out here tonight. Miss Play 4 Palavi Brown. Miss In Transit Exports Raquel Coombs. Miss Sedco Shannon John. Miss Davin Shannon McLean. Miss St. Vincent Bureau Limited Ariel Oliver. Miss Flo Shania Peters. Miss Lotto, Jada Ross. And Miss Massey Scores Limited, Tanik Swift. Thank you, ladies. All authentically Vincentian. All absolutely beautiful. Give them a round of applause. That again was the cultural wear segment, ladies and gentlemen. If you loved what you saw, let's hear your appreciation. Put your hands together. Thank you, DJ. Contestants will be judged on carriage, six points, poise and elegance, eight, figure, seven, and fit, four. This segment is sponsored by Island Pop Swimwear, and the swimsuits were made by Pinky Todd. Ladies and gentlemen, the swimwear category. Now let's look at the individual presentation starting with Miss Play for Palavi Brown.
And now we move right along into contestant number two. Welcome, Miss In Transit Exports, Raquel Coombs. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number two, Miss In Transit Exports, Raquel Coons. And we now welcome on stage Miss Said Co. Shannon John. That was Miss Setco, Shannon John. And let's keep it going this evening, shall we? And put your hands together and welcome our next contestant, Shannon McLean, Miss David. Uh, 
Miss Davin, Shannon McLean, contestant number four. Now we welcome contestant number five, Miss St. Vincent Brewery Limited, Ariel Oliver. That was Miss St. Vincent Brewery Limited, Ariel Oliver. And now we bring to you contestant number six, Miss Flo, Shania Peters. Yeah. 
Give me a bones, bones, I know freeze, bones. Y'all like that frozen cheese. When you go a dancing, a dancing with beef. Bones, y'all let me miss you now. I ain't never miss. I know. Love it when you come my way. You smell nice, I am. Bones, y'all let me miss you now. I know. Swish your link up like big sun. You think me now, watch for me shakes. But you got no idea. I get in there. Senorita, bones for the team. Let's hear it once again. Miss Flo, Shania Peters, contestant number six. And we welcome contestant number seven, Miss Lotto Jada Ross. That was Miss Lotto Jada Ross. And our final contestant this evening in our swimwear segment, contestant number eight, Miss Massey Stores Limited, Tani Swift. Thank you. 
Panic Swift, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Massey Stores Limited contestant number eight. And we remind you that you still have time to play a role in crowning one of our winners tonight. That is the People's Choice Award. Log on right now to MissSVG.com and you can cast your vote for your favorite contestant. That's MissSVG.com to cast your vote for the People's Choice Award. You've got just a few minutes left as the voting is open to do so. So you've just seen the eight contestants for their individual routines and now we invite them back one final time with a final look starting with Miss Play for Pallavi Brown and the Miss In Transit Exports Raquel Coombs. We now invite Miss Sedco Shannon John and Miss Davin Shannon McClee. They are followed by Miss St. Vincent Brewery Limited, Ariel Oliver and Miss Flo Shania Peters. We now invite Miss Lotto, Jada Ross and Miss Massey Stores Limited, Tanique Swift. There they are, ladies and gentlemen, in the beauty and glory of their swimwear. Our eight contestants. Let's say thanks to Miss Play 4 and Miss In Transit Exports. Let's say thank you to Miss Setco and Miss David. Thank you, Miss St. Vincent Brewery Limited and Miss Flo. Thank you to Miss Lotto and Miss Massey Stores Limited.
Thank you, ladies. Thank you, ladies. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our contestants in swimwear. Looking at me, I'm ready to go with you if you want me. I guess I gotta do something. Island Pop. Get dinner and candles to light Popcorn for your movie night One stop and get it right It's that good We've got what you're looking for All the brands you love and look at everything at Massey Stores Massey Stores is where you wanna be We take care of you like family We do all that we could To treat you like we should It's that good Stores. Our family serving your family. Hey Lisa, I really need you to cancel my 3.30 appointment. I need to get to kisses to you right now to redraw some money. Peters, you need to take care of this right away. No. Time is of the essence with a jam-packed schedule. That's why KCCU's ATM services is the best thing you could have ever wished for. The treasure of convenience in the form of an ATM card that gives you the luxury of accessing your funds anytime and anywhere. So no more trying to beat the clock just to get cash. Now you can get your business done in minutes then get back to your crazy packed life. Do things on your own time with KCCU Go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, notably, the order for the talent segment has been shuffled. All right, so it's not going to be what you would have seen from before. So this is the order of the talent presentations this evening. We begin with contestant number one, Miss Play 4, Pallavi Brown. She'll be followed by contestant number five, Miss Vincent Brewery, Ariel Oliver. Contestant number eight, Miss Massey Stores Limited, Tanik Swift. Contestant number four, Miss Davin, Shadin McLean. Contestant number two, Miss In Transit Exports, Raquel Coombs. Contestant number six, Miss Flo, Shania Peters. Contestant number three, Miss Setko, Shannon John. And then contestant number seven, Miss Lotto, Jada Ross. Thank you for that information, Khalil. We'll now move into the first presentation. We welcome on stage Miss Play 4, Pallavi Brown, for the talent entitled When the Tables Turn. The talent seeks to highlight the problem of pedophilia here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. 
It sheds light on the fact that in St. Vincent, many perpetrators are sometimes allowed to go free. Many of the victims are left psychologically scarred for life. Many often suffer from depression as a result. The piece portrays that the tables have turned where it is now the victim who has the upper hand to inflict punishment for persons committing these acts of sexual abuse against the female gender. All right, Judge Merciless Court is now in session. Judges case number 666 of the state of St. Vincent against John Doe. Your Honor. Thank you. Is what I really see in here. What I really can't believe my eyes. Is you again? Like your last punishment was in vain. I'm fed up. Honestly, I'm really fed up. Mr. Dutty, rubbish man. Nastiness. You inside my courtroom again? So you mean to tell me? The three years me gave her the last time. You know, learn nothing from that. Cause look, not even six months good you're out and you don't already come back. Hm. From what I see in here in your file, you is a sick, sick pedophile. You is a menace to the society at this great their parents and your country. I don't normally do this. But let me come down here and deal with your case. Imagine big hard man like you seeking pleasure from a little baby. Tell me, people, if that mania not sick in the head. Tell me if I ain't agree like I should deal with him real, real dread. Boy, shut up. I don't want to hear nothing from you. It's people like you that let's make your little country look bad. Raping with women, molesting with children, chopping up with young girls, putting their bodies in bags and dashing them in bush. Yet, you still have the heart to brag. Imagine, you know, in the height of a volcanic eruption, all you could be thinking about was getting an erection. What you want to bring your child from a shelter? And the only thought that crossed your mind was to rape her? It seems to me you have no respect for women. But with me inside this courtroom, yet me, Judge Merciless, I will bring an end to this problem. You hear me? Yes, me, Judge Merciless. I can bring an end to this problem. You never show no remorse at all. Watch the woman daughter how she's still a ball. Drunk. What do you mean you've been drunk? I can lost you behind these walls. No human contact, not even a phone call. I can give you the Full armor the law. You must go in young and come out a grandpa. Miss Sorry, them stop hang people. People like you deserve the rope. Watch the child how she traumatized. I don't even know how she parents can cope. I can give you 40 years in prison. And I hope you live till old age. Officer, please remove this animal and put him back in his cage. Let this be a warning to all you dirty men out there. Next time, it should be the gallows or even an electric chair. This sight of you disgusts me. I am moving out of my sight and putting him back in one of them cells where he can't tell if a day or night. Wait, wait. Not so fast. I changed my mind. I ain't afraid to send on down here with a of blood and fire and the grass. <laughs> you never know the tables with a turn. <laughs> I tell you what I do for you. Me, God, merciless. <laughs> blood down there.
That was contestant number one, Miss Play 4, Pallavi Brown, with a talent entitled, When the Tables Turn. Welcome on stage just now, Miss and Vincent Bury Limited, Ariel Oliver, no, contestant number five, with her talent entitled, On My Way Home. The synopsis is, Ariel has been unable to visit her homeland, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, for the past couple of years due to the global pandemic, COVID-19. The eruption of the Lassifer volcano further detained any plans that she had to return home. Now that we're back to the same normalcy, she has decided to make that trip home to be a part of the 43rd Independence Celebration, knowing that things will be nice again. However, due to the fact that a lot of persons are returning home for the Independence Celebration, she was unable to get a flight direct to St. Vincent. Ariel's flight therefore made stops in Barbados, Trinidad, and Grenada before her final destination, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Barbados. We've just landed at the Grantley Adams International Airport. Welcome to Trinidad. We've just landed at the Piaco International Airport. Please remain seated with your seatbelts securely fastened until the aircraft has come to a complete stop and the captain has switched off the fastened seatbelt sign. the Morris Bishop International Airport. You don't carry the fire that my ancestors have given to me. You merely adopted the jam. I was born in it. This is jam, religion, jam, jam, religion, this is jam. International Airport. You gave me no mansion. Hey, yo, St. Vincent, right now, the people in there want a light to show them the way out. So here you go. I'm bringing up here now. I know you feel it, baby. But trust me, my friend, things go nice again, it must again. St. Vincent is in pain, yes, it is in pain. You know what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. Cause the volcano come and you up again. We was on lockdown, now the ashes come down. Yes, I know the feeling, this one is a tough one. But I want you to take time, I want you to sit down. I want you to remember, we all are we came from. Things go nice again, things go nice again, as we just go prevail. We go back 
Missing Vincent Brewery Limited, Ariel Oliver, with a talent entitled On My Way Home. Miss Massey Stores Limited, Tanique Swift, contestant number eight, will grace the stage. The name of this talent is Hush. The hush is about the silence of violence against women. A child sees her mother being abused to death by father. It is so happens that the child falls into the same situation when she gets older. She went to different places, but no one helped. But yet, they will join rallies to march against violence against women. Hush by Tanique Swift, contestant number eight. Dirty, you are my closest neighbor, and I really need your help. I feel like one day Jimmy will surely kill me. What? You don't want to get involved in husband and wife affairs? But Nicole told me that you told Michelle you don't know where I don't leave that man. I know you don't want to get involved. Okay, Dorothy, as you say, I will talk to my pastor. Pastor, I don't have anywhere to go. And the situation is getting worse. He said that I must keep on praying. But Pastor, Jimmy is becoming more and more violent. So wait, this is a matter for the police. But Pastor, I am scared to go home. Please help me. The police. <laughs>
wish she came to me for help. Why didn't no one help her? But I came to you. And to you also. How could you not remember? Now that I am no more. They all speak of helping. A lady is beaten in the street. Did you stop to help? Yet you record. There's a knocking at your door in the middle of the night. She cries for help. But you refuse to answer. But I saw you at the rally. Holding a placard that says, Together we stand. Yet, you never stop to inquire. Your voice it echoes for miles. But, your voices are united when another victim lies dead. So when, when will you break the silence for when another victim come knocking at your door? So now we move to the talent of Miss Davin, and we have Shadin McLean, contestant number four. The name of the talent is Subliminal Influence. Subliminal Influence transports us into the deepened musical trance that sees the power of music unleash itself, forging its ways into the unassuming minds of humans. Its power to manipulate our state of mind, blacken thoughts, and harden our hearts. This is a journey of unshackling the subliminal influence, freeing ourselves from the pits of musical darkness, surrendering to the light. This is the battle of good over evil. With great power comes even greater responsibility. Tonight, she takes the turntable live to perform The Decision Is Ours, from which source will we gather our power? At this point, Miss Gavin. Fighter number one, a pioneering force, a champion of sound. This is DJ Shads. Anna's veil. Are you ready? Batman. 
man. She love bad man. And they walk on band with music. She love gangsta action. Me say where you are. She say back. Contestant number four, Miss Davin, Shadin McLean, with the title, the piece entitled Subliminal Influence. This evening, ladies and gentlemen, we now present our next contestant, presenting you, presenting to you, Anxiety, the Untold Stories. Depression and anxiety are two emotions that everyone has at different points in their lives. For some, it can be very debilitating. Those persons can become so entangled in their thoughts that they sink into the quagmire. To those persons, we beg of you to reach out. Asking for help is a sign of strength, not weakness. This is Anxiety, the Untold Stories, Miss In Transit Exports, Raquel Coombs. She hates the fact that I am happy and tries to kill my sanity. <laughs> some days I'm overwhelmed, some days I'm lost inside this hell. <laughs> Can't help me. Breaking me down like a wet single ply tissue paper. And letting me sing into my sorrows like loose change in between a couch. <laughs> 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 
She drinks my blood like a vampire and tries to pervert my thoughts as if she thought that I was afraid of the taste. Some days I try my best to seem happy. Some days this place seems better off without me. She envies my beauty. She despises my ambitions. She tries to bring me down to her level of nothingness. She sees me as nothing less than worthless. She speaks to me like I'm her child with hurtful words and rage, trying to intimidate me to make me feel lower than the ground. <laughs> she adds worries and takes away my peace. She adds troubles and takes away my rest. She adds work and takes away my sleep. I can never be good enough. <laughs> Help me. I will never be good enough. I shall never be good enough for this lady called Madam Anxiety. To live an ordinary life. Help. Maybe I won't feel Help this me. way someday. Some days I wonder what it's like to live an ordinary life. No. No. When you lose faith in <laughs> Don't give up on me. Your life gets so overwhelming. Relying on yourself. Help me. But don't give up on you. No. If you've been lost and lonely, ashamed to be alone with only you. I can't do this. Don't give up on me. Contestant number two, Miss Raquel Coombs, Miss In Transit Exports. The talent called Anxiety, The Untold Stories. As we keep our talent segment going this evening, we present to you our next contestant. She is contestant number six, Shania Peters, Miss Flo. The name of her talent is Rose from the Concrete. Through dance and dramatic narration, Shania aims to challenge the many negative scorns and stigma many persons like herself who live in underprivileged communities experience. Those affected are left scarred for life, but the resilient Shania Peters hopes her message tonight will bring some fresh hope to those affected and bring about positive change. She, like so many others before her, and those who are on the quest to see the stigma removed, want you to know that no matter your social or economic hardship, you are not a reflection of your struggles, the ghetto. Rise up from the proverbial concrete. You study in Chi? You ever hear anything good come from that place? Wait, and where she from? Hey! Can't be can't believe where she from? Yo, I can't take a serious girl. People like that never want to anything. Never want to get to me. Tell me about it, man. Nothing good, not come from this source. When the weed, a coke and gun, bad girl and strong rum, funny, isn't it? 
that you label us and act like it's nothing. Society, you are too busy slapping on their doors that you miss the talent and creativity that echoes through our ghetto homes. I am she. I am her. I am me. The roads that grew from the concrete pot hold roads of Paul's lot. Tired of stigma, segregation, manipulation, humiliation, and degradation. The evident classism, the colorism, the favoritism, and ostracizing. I am burdened with purpose. Black girl, black queen, black beauty. I am not my home. I am not your background. I am not your struggles. I am not your label. I am she. I am me. I am her. Young Empress, impressively talented, intelligent, and ambitious. And yes, I am from Paul's Lot. Life is like a big fairy go And with that, we return to the stage for contestant number three and her talent and appreciation of Vinci music and its evolution. Everyone has their own identity and culture is a part of our identity. Culture contains language, costume, food, social activity, and music. A big part of the Vincentian culture is the music that we produce from all genres. We must try our best to embrace it and continue to share it to future generations. For her talent, Miss Setko Shannon John will be traveling through time, showing appreciation for our music all the while doing a quick change that goes along with the song that she is singing. Beginning with the Vincentian folklore, the first song, Plenty Walk for School Pinckney, was first sang by the Hope School Choir in her village of Vermont back in 1974. Secondly, We Don't Like We by Seanel McKenzie is a calypso that highlights the ever-present, unappreciative nature towards the contributions of Vincentian artists. Followed by Turn Me On by Kevin Little, a song which wasn't fully embraced here in SVG, however, gained international acclaim and success, is the Ragasoka segment of her performance. 
Finally, the soca segment with the song titled Crazy that was sang by Shannon John, stage name Kelly J. This highlights the appreciation for female soca artists in a male-dominated Vincentian soca industry. Her performance of the soca song Crazy will be executed with two backup dancers to complement the performance. Ladies and gentlemen, an appreciation of Vinci music and its evolution, Miss Setko, Shannon John. Our youths about our folklore, keeping the culture alive. Morning, morning, teacher, morning, morning, morning. Sorry, I'm late, huh? I just have to put on my shoes. Wait, wait. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Mommy, give me so much work to do. Banana, then I eat. Wait, I have to tie out the goat. Come and go out there. I see the goat. Oh God, can I pull it? God, Randy, we it. You go so small, I can't be silent. Randy, I want to sit in here. Randy, I don't understand. Randy, that's a be in here, no boy. We must have Randy, where are you? Appreciation for our culture before we expect outsiders to embrace it. That's when we see a neighbor moving ahead of we. Jealousy, hatred and envy have taken over our lives. You see, it is clear to see. In church, we sing in praise to the crown. As we step outside, it is only pulled down. Such hypocrisy. Plenty people living quite lavishly, while the poorer ones living painfully. Don't you agree? With our support, love, and encouragement, there's no reason why we can't conquer the world. Let me hold you, girl, caress my body. You got me going crazy, yeah, hey. Let me jam you, boy, wine all around me. You got me going crazy, yeah, hey. in SVG, the empowerment of our female soca artists and their contributions is imperative. Kelly J. Kelly J. Lord. Two years we ain't party, so right now we're strictly. Only need one shot and then I drunk. Two years we ain't party, so right now we're strictly. Lord. When we touch the road is inside the wet fetters, when we play in masses, everybody outside. When we touch the road is inside the wet fetters, when we play in masses, everybody outside. Carnival, we come as one. We ready to get on bad. Bring the glass and bring the rum. Watch it so when we have fun. If I want thing that we know is how to put on a show, then my will act down so long from the time we touch it. So it's behind a truck we. Jump as one we Carnival time we crazy, crazy lad Craziness, two years we ain't party so right now we strictly Only need one shot and then I drop Two years we ain't party so right now we strictly Craziness, craziness lad When we touch the road is inside the wet fetters When we play in masses, everybody outside When we touch the road is inside the wet fetters when we play in masses, everybody outside. Good night, everybody. I'm Shannon John. Shannon John, Miss Setko. So once again, at this point, doing her talent one more time because it's only fair bringing to you crazy decent is miss lotto jada ross Texture. Texture. 
Who she asked? Great knowledge. Right time to show. Good evening, Victoria Park. Wait, it's wrong venue. Man, man, this a kick in. Good evening, Ernest Vale Sporting Complex, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Sheriff of the Antilles, West Indies. My name is Jada Elizabeth Mia, Demos Rosepoke, $20, daughter, Admiral Captain, 2503-2001, Instagram, Yo the Dog, Ross. You say one who I be? Me's a decent, crackhead, crazy woman. Let me tell you how decent of a crack I be. On Monday, Monday, Wednesday, because nobody not like Mondays anyways. I, I took the day to attend the live Facebook show of Her Majesty Catchily York. Girl, Jada, now call my name down there now. Don't call my name. Hello. Let me leave Wednesday alone. Yes. On Thursday, I, they just call me the squash boss. Friday! I just packed my lunch for the rest of the weekend because I know Saturdays are serious work. Dr. Ralph, my grandson, come boy. You say I wanted a 10% of me will, but not too much. So I am giving you a 7. 7% 7 of my will, and I am leaving a million dollars in Bank of St. Vincent for you and your siblings. You get 600,000. The Honorable Godwin, give him 300,000. But he, pay he on a Saturday. And Auntie Jean, by Corez, Ralph's sister, nah. Yes, 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 give her 500,000. And oh, oh, your last sibling, your long last brother, the one from Africa. You know the one. The one with the rings. The rings, nah. The rings. Yes, 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 yes. Make sure he gets something to it. Oh, uh, Saturday. That is show time. Mental illness in the house. Sweet girl. With the lime. God. Yes, yes. Stay. My name is Mental Illness and I'm here to line with you. You thinking that I'm crazy, but you are crazy too. Depression, schizophrenia, eating disorders too. Any addictive behaviors and you can get me too. Sweet girl, sweet girl. You don't ever have to worry. You got me and five other personalities here to keep you company. If the sun turns and the moon vibrates, what does the earth do? Gyrate! On Sunday, I just have to get serious because I never asked to be addicted to cocaine. It's a small problem I had. I was looking for peace of mind. I took it once, happened twice. Next thing I crackmatized. You know, you just treat people with my condition real bad. Sometimes we alone and we feel so sad. You treat us like trash. You think I didn't want to be crazy or mad? Visit your family in the mental asylum. Do not forget the birthdays, the anniversaries. Love them, treat them with care. Remember, mental illness is a serious condition. Look, it's happened to me. It could happen to any of you. Let us look out for each other. And God bless and keep us through. And remember, my name is Jada Elizabeth Mia, Demos Rosebrook, $20, daughter, Admiral Captain, 2503-2001, Instagram girl with the dog, Wednesday, Thursday, Squash Boss, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Ross. Wait! Wrong way.
Crazy Decent, the name of the talent portrayal there by Miss Lotto Jada Ross. And that brings us to the end of the talent segment for this evening here at Miss SVG, the Royal Return. Our guest performance for this evening is Kea Rodriguez. All smiles and know what it takes to fool this town. I'll do it till the sun goes down and all through the night time. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'll tell you what you wanna hear Leave my sunglasses on while I shed a tear It's never the right time Oh yeah I put my armor on, show you how strong I am I put my armor on, I'll show you that I am I won't stop above I will push you with no rain yeah, I win every single game. I'm so powerful. I don't need batteries to play. I'm so confident. Yeah, I'm unstoppable today. Unstoppable today. Unstoppable today. Unstoppable today. I'm unstoppable today. Break down. Only alone I would cry out loud you never see what's hiding out Hiding out deep down Oh yeah, I know I've heard you let your feelings show It's the only way to make friendships go But I'm too afraid now Oh yeah I put my armor on, show you how strong I am I put my armor on I'm a Porsche with no brakes. I'm invincible. Yeah, I win every single game. I'm so powerful. I don't need batteries to play. I'm so confident. Yeah, I'm unstoppable today. Unstoppable today. Unstoppable today. Unstoppable today. I'm unstoppable today, unstoppable today, unstoppable today, unstoppable today, I'm unstoppable today. I'm a Porsche with no brakes. I'm invincible. Yeah, I win every single game. I'm so powerful. I don't need batteries to play. I'm so confident. Yeah, I'm unstoppable today. Unstoppable today. Unstoppable today. Unstoppable today. I'm unstoppable today, unstoppable today, unstoppable today, unstoppable today, I'm unstoppable today. Thank you. Kia Rodriguez, ladies and gentlemen, one more time, let's hear it for this young talent. It's time to get into the evening wear segment. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Are you ready? Arnesville Plainfield, are you ready? All right, they're ready. So let's get going. First on stage in the evening wear category will be Miss Lotto Pallavi Brown. And a correction, Miss, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Miss Play 4, 
Palavi Brown. Your first contestant, Miss Play 4, Palavi Brown. Miss Play 4, Pallavi Brown, your first contestant on stage in the evening wear category. And up next, we have Miss in Transit Export, Raquel Combs.
That was Miss In Transit Export, Raquel Combs. We now welcome our next contestant on stage in evening wear, Miss Sedco Shannon John. Miss Setco, Shannon John in evening wear. And up next, we have Miss Davin, Shadin McLean.
That was Miss Davin, Shadden McLean. And we move right along into our next contestant, representing the St. Vincent Brewery Limited, Miss St. Vincent Brewery Limited, ladies and gentlemen, Ariel Oliver. Let's hear it once again for Miss St. Vincent Brewery Limited, Ariel Oliver. And up next, we have Miss Flo, Shania Peters. That was Miss Flo, Shania Peters. 
And we keep it going with contestant number seven. And we keep it going with contestant number seven. Miss Lotto, welcome Jada Ross. Contestant number seven in evening wear for you ladies and gentlemen, Miss Lotto Jada Ross. And now we invite on stage Miss Massey Store Limited, Tanique Swift.
was Tiny Swift, Miss Massey Stores Limited. Thank you, ladies. And we'll now move immediately into the interview segment. This segment carries 25 points with the following breakdown. Diction, eight points. Content, 10 points. Fluency, four points. Confidence, three points. Each contestant will be asked two questions, one from their biography, then she will randomly select a general question. The biography and general questions were prepared by a team with no affiliation to the CDC or the Beauty Shows Committee. The judges for this segment are Chief Judge Wendy Bino, Earl Painter, Nisha Hope, Lafern Fraser, and Anginella Young. Let's begin. We'll invite the first contestant back on stage, Miss Lot, Miss Play Four, Pallavi Brown. All right, Palafi, welcome to the interview segment. And how are you feeling this evening? Thank you. I'm feeling great. And yourself? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. And looking awesome. lovely, of course. Thank you. So, your first question this evening. And as is the norm, I'll read it for you twice. For your benefit, also for the benefit of our audience and our judges. You have expressed that you have a keen interest in youth development. What specific programs would you like to see offered that would help shape a sound future for the youth of St. Vincent and the Grenadines? Again, you have expressed that you have a keen interest in youth development. What specific programs would you like to see offered that would help shape a sound future for the youth of St. Vincent and the Grenadines? Thank you for that question. I believe that the youth is our future, and we must ensure that they are equipped with the necessary skills for their future. If I were given the opportunity to implement programs, I would do so through three avenues, through education, healthcare, and bridging the digital divide. We are living in an era of high-stake testings and global comparisons, and this tectonic shift has led to a shift in skills of culture, creativity, innovation, entrepreneurship, and non-cognitive skills seen as the new apt and more desirable within the 21st century. Therefore, in order to equip our, our youths, I would implement a policy a program, sorry, through holistic development by placing an equal emphasis on extracurricular activities as well as their academics. I also believe in, in this instance that our government, our institutions must ensure that our infrastructure has the adequate infrastructure to help our youths hone their skills, be it main theater arts, or entrepreneurship. Thank you. Thank you, Palavi. And now, you can select your general question from our jar in front of us. So, your second question this evening. Again, this will be read twice. Some women suffer severely from medical conditions that are often treatable with early detection. What can we do to get our women to be more proactive regarding their health? Some women suffer severely from medical conditions that are often treatable with early detection. What can we do to get our women to be more proactive regarding their health?
Firstly, I would like to thank all healthcare professionals here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines that ensure that our citizens are given the best quality of healthcare available. Health is indeed wealth. And if I were to advise women to be more proactive with their healthcare, it would be through educating them. I strongly believe through the education of, for example, the advantages and disadvantages of checking for cancer, breast cancer especially, is very important. Secondly, I strongly believe that Here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, we know that oftentimes our citizens have to leave the island for treatment. I believe with the training of our healthcare professionals here, as well as through grant funding, to grant funding to have the equipment needed can also help women in being more proactive. In this way, we can help them by educating them as well as giving them the necessary treatment. Thank you. Miss Play 4, Palavi Brown, ladies and gentlemen, our first contestant. Thank you, Palavi. Next, on stage in our interview segment, Miss In Transit Exports, Raquel Coombs. Miss Coombs. Good night. You're looking rather lovely tonight. Thank you. So the first question I have here will be the question that is from your biography. As someone who was a member of the cadet force and is now a police officer, what advice would you give to young women who are thinking about pursuing a similar career path, considering that law enforcement is still a male-dominated profession? Would you like me to repeat the question? As someone who was a member of the cadet force and is now a police officer, what advice would you give to young women who are thinking about pursuing a similar career path, considering that law enforcement is still a male-dominated profession? Even though the Royal St. Vincent and the police force is being dominated by men, I will encourage young ladies to take this step into this career because we in the Royal St. Vincent and the police force, there are equal rights within this. So there's no way that you, as a female, should feel like you don't have a step within this career. You can now choose a question from here. The second question reads, some persons are of the view that each secondary school student should graduate with certificates in at least one technical vocational education and training TVET course. What are your views on this? Some persons are of the view that each secondary school student should graduate with certification in at least one technical vocational and education training course. What are your views on this? I strongly agree that each secondary school student should graduate with a certificate in this course. 
This course offers skills as technical drying, food and nutrition, and electrical. With these skills, you will be able to go straight into the workforce if you decide not to have a tertiary education. This will also help families who cannot fund their children to have a tertiary education. Next, we have on stage Miss Sedco Shannon John. Right, there we go. Good evening, Shannon. And how's the evening been going for you so far? Awesome. Great, great. Having herself a good time. So, we kick off your interview with your first question, which comes from your biography. And we'll ask you twice. So, according to your biography, you led a very active sporting life while still pursuing your academic endeavors. What would you say to someone who is struggling to balance their involvement in sports and their academic pursuits? Again, according to your biography, you led a very active sporting life while still pursuing your academic endeavors. What would you say to someone who is struggling to balance their involvement in sports and their academic pursuits? We are only in control of ourselves. If I were to advise someone, I would let them know, focus on the goal. The goal is the only thing that matters, regardless if you're being academic or a part of any sporting activity. All right. I now invite you to choose a question, choose a scroll from our royal jar, and thank you. And here's your second question. If you were given the responsibility to select St. Vincent and the Grenadines' second national hero, who would you choose to receive such an honor and why? Again, if you were given the responsibility to select St. Vincent and the Grenadines' second national hero, who would you choose to receive such an honor and why? St. Vincent and the Grenadines is filled with so many beautiful people. I may not have the answer to this question, but I do know we don't deserve two national heroes because St. Vincent is filled with so many national heroes, not just two. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Setko, Shannon John. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage for her interview this evening, Miss Davin Shadane McLean. Shut in. You're looking extremely beautiful. Thank you so much. How are you doing tonight? I'm feeling fantastic and doing even better. Great. The first question I will ask is a question that comes from your biography. Shut in. You're currently pursuing a bachelor's degree in nursing. What do you think can be done to improve the healthcare sector in St. Vincent and the Grenadines? Shut in. 
You're currently pursuing a bachelor's degree in nursing. What do you think can be done to improve the healthcare sector in St. Vincent and the Grenadines? As a nursing student, being in the meat of the matter, I would recommend that we prioritize our healthcare workers' needs, we listen to them thoroughly, and ensure that we put policies, for example, ensuring that they have the materials that they need in the healthcare sectors to do what they need to do when they are on the job. Thank you. Thank you. We'll now choose a question. The second question reads, there appears to be some reluctance among our youth to get involved actively in the agriculture sector. Suggest one policy initiative that can be implemented to encourage greater participation of young people in agriculture. And I'll read that again. There appears to be some reluctancy among young people to get actively involved in the agricultural sector suggest one policy initiative that can be implemented to encourage greater participation of young people in agriculture. As a small island nation, food security is of utmost importance. Therefore, we need to ensure that there are policies or even subjects that are taught to our younger students so that they can understand the importance of agriculture in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Additionally, I would recommend that we encourage our farmers and persons who have agricultural jobs to pursue further careers, as in ensure that they are able to, per, to further or develop their agricultural produce just so that we can know and feel comfortable that we have a secure spot in agriculture in the future. Good job. Thank you. We now welcome on stage Miss St. Vi Vincent Bury Limited, Ariel Oliver. Ariel, is there anything that you would like to just share quickly with our audience here this evening? I would like to say happy 43 years of independence to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So Ariel, your first question this evening again comes from your biography. You mentioned your desire to become an educator. As an aspiring teacher, what core values would you instill in your students to help them navigate our ever-changing world? Again, you mentioned your desire to become an educator. As an aspiring teacher, what core values would you instill in your students to help them navigate our ever-changing world? I am extremely passionate about children. And in the near future, I hope to become a business teacher. I would instill discipline, respect, and drive in the students of our generation today. Thank you very much. Now, you may select your second question. Of course, our questions are by the luck of the draw. So question number two, Ariel. The socialization of the child is critical to society's well-being. Does it still take a village to raise a child? 
share with us your thoughts on this issue. The socialization of the child is critical to society's well-being. Well Does it still take a village to raise a child? Share with us your thoughts on the issue. I was raised in the most outstanding community of Stubbs, and it has instilled so many core values in me. It has made me to become the most outstanding woman that I am today. So I do believe that it takes a community to raise a child. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Ariel Oliver, Miss St. Vincent Brewery Limited. Ladies and gentlemen, we keep flowing and invite on stage Miss Flo Shania Peters. Good night, Shania. You're looking very beautiful. Thank you so much. How are you feeling? Great. <laughs> All right, so we go straight into the meat of the matter. The first question will be from your biography. Shanil, you stated in your biography that you are a dancer and national footballer. What are some of the benefits that you enjoyed as a result of your involvement in both dance and football? I'll read the question again. You stated in your biography that you are a dancer and national footballer. What are some of the benefits that you have enjoyed as a result of your involvement in both dance and football? There are many benefits that I have received while taking part in both dance and football. There are actually form of exercises that I enjoy that is most of the time competitive and so it fuel that competitive drive for me to do my utmost best every time. In addition to this, it helps to sharpen my agility, my balance, and coordination. Last but not least, it is while walking, while walking on, while taking part in football, I am, I am more toned and my legs get stronger. Therefore, I am able to do dance routines much longer than many other dancers. Good. Now choose a question from the board. The explosive eruption of the last of Ray volcano in April of 2021 is something we will not soon forget. In your opinion, what is one of the main lessons for Vincentians coming out of this experience? The explosive eruption of the last of Ray volcano in April of 2021 is something we will not soon forget. In your opinion, what is one of the main lessons for Vincentians coming out of this experience? One of the main lessons is to live life because we never know the minute nor the hour when God will put in his own appearance. I would say that the last of volcano has been a, that of a tragic one, you know. We should be able to create memories. We should be able to love one another. Tell a friend that you love them each day. Tell a family member that you love them each day and live life to the moment. Just create memories. Thank you.
And now we have on stage Miss Lotto, Jada Ross. An unofficial question just for tonight, Jada. Are you feeling happy about your decision to enter Miss SVG tonight? I am feeling fantastic. I mean, listen to the support that my fellow contestants and I have been receiving this evening. Excellent. So your first question this evening. You are an aspiring professional athlete, actress, and media influencer. What do you think can be done to ensure the sustainability of the creative arts industry in St. Vincent and the Grenadines? Again, you are an aspiring professional athlete, actress, and media influencer. What do you think can be done to ensure the sustainability of the creative arts industry in St. Vincent and the Grenadines? Creative arts has been something that I have been very passionate about for almost my entire life, taking part in dance and theater for quite some time. If I am to be a part or take part in the sustainability of creative arts in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, firstly, I would make theater arts or creative arts in general a mandatory course in the primary, secondary, and tertiary level education. <laughs> Additionally, I believe that there are many more creative arts events that we can put off every single year to ensure that theatre stays alive in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And creative arts is sustained and it, is, it continues to grow and put us on the map, put St. Vincent and the Grenadines where we should be because we are an amazing country and we deserve to be recognized. Thank you very much, Jada. And I invite you to select your question from our jar, and I'll open it for you. So here's your second question. If you were asked to deliver a national address during Tourism Awareness Week, what key message would you use to encourage Vincentians to think of tourism as everyone's business? If you were asked to deliver a national address during Tourism Awareness Week, what key message would you use to encourage Vincentians to think of tourism as everyone's business? May I ask if you to repeat the question, please? If you were asked to deliver a national address during Tourism Awareness Week, what key message would you use to encourage Vincentians to think of tourism as everyone's business. When I travel uh, interregionally or internationally, one of the most disheartening things I experience is the fact that people don't know of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. They say, I love your accent, where are you from? I'm from SVG and dead silence. They don't know where I'm speaking about. If I am to deliver a national address to encourage my fellow Vincentians ahead of me this evening, I would encourage them to be walking billboards, be encouraging to people, encourage people to come to SVG, whether it be to post it on your social media platforms, because I know for a fact that almost all of us here have social media platforms, and it is important that we keep St. Vincent alive and we understand the importance of Inviting people to SVG because it is going to also encourage income. It's going to make our country grow. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Jada Ross, Miss Lotto. And we now present our eighth and final contestant, Miss Massey Stores, Tanik Swift.
Good night, Tanique. You're looking very lovely. Good night. Thank you. How are you feeling tonight? I'm feeling great. All righty. The first question I'll ask you tonight comes directly from your biography. And, and it reads, Tanique, according to your biography, you encountered numerous health challenges as a child and you were also bullied. How would you advise someone who may be encountering challenges similar to yours? Again, according to your biography, you encountered numerous health challenges as a child and you were also bullied. How would you advise someone who may be encountering challenges similar to yours? This is such an interesting question as I will use every opportunity to let people know about my experience. What I will do is to tell, tell them that your current situation does not determine your destination. For example, here am I tonight in the Miss SVG pageant, something that I never dreamt of, but because I have a hope and a dream, I am here today. Now select your question. The question reads, do you think that the time has come for us to revisit the uniform requirements for students in schools across St. Vincent and the Grenadines? Tell us why or why not. The question reads, do you think that the time has come for us to revisit the uniform requirements for students in schools across St. Vincent and the Grenadines? Tell us why or why not. Time has changed, and so too, we can continue changing things in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. For example, I think that we can revisit the school uniform. We were experienced with dengue fever, where we had students wearing long jeans or long sleeve. And in fact, if we had revisit the uniform, then this could have been avoided. Thank you. Thank you. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was your interview segment for this evening. The final judged category here at the Royal Return Miss SVG 2022. And now, just for the benefit of everyone, our photographers, you, our lovely audience, let's have our ladies back on stage one final time before we get into the most exciting part of the evening, of course, the crowning. So we begin, of course, by inviting, first off, contestant number one, Miss Play 4, Palavi Brown. Then we invite Miss Intransit Export, Raquel Combs. She's followed by contestant number three, Miss Sedko, Shannon John. After which we have Miss Davin Shadden McLean. Next is Miss St. Vincent Brewery Limited, Ariel Oliver. Followed by Miss Flo Shania Peters. Then there's Miss Lotto Jada Ross. And then we have Miss Massey Stores Limited, Tanique Swift. And there, ladies, are your, sorry, there, ladies and gentlemen, are your eight contestants. Miss SVG 2022, the Royal Return. Show your love. Show your love. Thank you, Miss Play for Pallavi Brown.
Thank you, Miss In Transit Exports, Raquel Coombs. Thank you, Miss Sedco. Shannon John. Thank you, Miss Davin Shannon McLean. Thank you, Miss St. Vincent Brewery Limited, Ariel Oliver. Thank you, Miss Lotto, Jada Ross. Thank you, Miss Flo, Shania Peters. And thank you, Miss Massey Stores Limited, Tanik Swift. And ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of our competition for this evening. And now it's time for our auditors to take time to tally the scores whilst we take in our featured guest artist this evening, Darren Andrews and Band. Andrews.
How you doing? Through the volcanic eruption, through the pandemic, God has been good to us, right? So if you're grateful for the love of God, let me see you. Let me see a wave. Give me a wave if you're grateful for the love of God. Come on. Let's go. Let's go.
2019, Sharika Rodney with her final walk. Being crowned Miss SVG has truly been one of my greatest accomplishments. Since becoming queen, I have served as an ambassador for our beautiful country, a duty that I have assumed with honor and pride. Indeed, the journey has been a wonderful experience, and my only hope is that I would have served as a role model and an inspiration to others to always put country above self. As I reflect on my journey, there were many who supported me during my time. Without your support, I would not have made it to the end. And for that, I am eternally grateful. Firstly, I want to thank the Almighty God for health, strength, and for giving me the courage to enter the show. To the woman who matters most and has been my biggest support throughout my journey, my mom, Sharon Rodney, thank you. To my sponsor, The Mustique Company Limited, Thank you for making my journey possible and for trusting me to wear your name with honor. To my team, who worked effortlessly to prepare me for the biggest night of my life. Mr. Audrey Fittishalo, Miss Spinola Tani Ross, Miss Nerissa King, Mr. Devonte Peters, Mrs. Insa Prince Duncan, and Miss Vestricia Llewellyn. I could not have done it without you. To my family and relatives, and to my community of greats. Thank you for rallying behind me every step of the way. To Mrs. Mia Currency and Mr. Rico Deschamps, thank you for supporting my goal of entering the pageant. Miss Onika Williams, thank you for being a friend. I would not be here without your emotional, mental, and financial support. To the management and staff of CIBC First Caribbean International Bank, thank you. To Miss Kimisha Llewellyn, Miss Kimon Batiste, and Miss Nikisha Pear for ensuring that I was beautiful for every event and for my big night. To Miss Andina Charles and Mr. Hadley Bourne, thank you for letting me into your homes and making me feel welcome. To Maxwell Tajo Francis, Pling, Rupert, and the team in Nevis for assisting with my talents. To the Honorable Ministers Caesar and Francis, Thank you for your support in my community project and for the opportunity to be a part of bringing our national pirates home. To the late Fillmore Big Diesel James for arranging a motorcade in such short time to ensure that my welcome home was grand. Lastly, to my chaperone, Miss Avia Charles. Words cannot describe how perpetually grateful I am to you. You offered an immense amount of guidance wisdom and support throughout the entire journey. Thank you for letting me into your home, your space, your life. You are more than just a chaperone to me. When women support women, incredible things happen. And in fact, under your wings, incredible things have happened. To my successor, congratulations on becoming Miss SVG 2022. I hope your reign is as impactful as it is life-changing. Immerse yourself in every bit of it. Grasp every opportunity to make yourself an SVG proud. To the other contestants, congratulations on completing such a transformative journey. And though there can only be one winner, your perseverance to the end makes you a winner. As I leave this stage, I wish to extend a heartfelt thank you to the Vincentian people for your support and encouragement over the last three years. It has been my honor to represent you. Thank you. Thank you, Miss SVG 2019. We'll now go to some ads. Well, well, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the moment that you have been waiting for. There you have it, and without further delay, let's bring all of our contestants on stage as we get ready to announce the results. Please welcome Miss Play 4, Pallavi Brown. Let's also welcome Miss In Transit Exports, Raquel Coombs.
We now welcome Miss Sitko, Shannon John. Let's now hear it for Miss Davin Shadin McLean. Miss and Vincent Bureau Limited, Ariel Oliver. Also welcome Miss Flo, Shania Peters. We now welcome Miss Lotto, Jada Ross. And finally, Miss Massey Stores Limited, Tanik Swift. Ladies, you can feel free to get a little tighter as we know that the rain is to be contended with. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, just for your information, as you see, Tanik is uh, given a chair to sit on. She had a slight medical issue backstage and uh, she was offered the opportunity of being able to stay out of this portion of the show, but the true champion and contestant that she is, she said no. She wants to be a part of this crowning event here this evening. So on the advice of the medical doctors, she was given a chair that she can sit on. And at this point, we'd like to invite the members of the crowning party here this evening. These are the beauty shows committee, Ms. Shaquille Bob, Ms. Shalissa Nanton, Ms. Juanita Phillips, and beauty shows chair, Avia Charles. and Miss Sharika Rodney, Miss SVG 2019. And at this point, uh, we are going to... Now, just to let you know that if for any reason the winner of Miss SVG 2022 is unable to continue her reign, the first runner-up will take her place. So, we begin with the first award for this evening. And as you know, you were asked to log on to the MissSVG.com website to cast your judge, or your vote, sorry, for your favorite contestant, the People's Choice. So the People's Choice winner will receive a gift voucher compliments Island Pop swimwear and a photo shoot compliments Travis Roberts photography and she'll be presented with her winnings by Miss Sibongale Diriggs of the Beauty Shows Committee. Ladies and gentlemen, for Miss SVG 2022, the People's Choice Award winner, Miss Sedko Shannon, Shannon John. John. First, we begin with the Geku Miss SVG Community Service Project, which was judged during the month of September. Since then, the results have been in and the possession of the auditors are now being opened. 
Yes, quite literally now being opened. The second runner-up would be presented with a plaque and $400 by Ms. Juanita Phillips. And the second runner-up is... In the Miss SVG Community Service Project, Shania Peters, Miss Flo. And the first runner-up will be presented with a plaque and $600 from a beauty show's chair, Avair Charles. The first runner-up of the Community Service Project is Jada Ross Miss Lotto. Congratulations. And we move on now to the winner of the Community Service Project, who will be presented with a plaque and a $1,000 cash prize from Ms. Tarima Brown. And your winner of the Community Service Project, Ms. Sedko Shannon, Shannon John. John. Ladies and gentlemen, we've moved on to the awards. Miss Congeniality, she's presented with the Ramona Richards plaque by Shalissa Nansen. And the Miss Congeniality Award goes to Miss Shannon John, Miss Echo. We move on now to the award for Miss Photogenic. Of course, this would have been judged by our photographers here this evening. And she will be presented with the Romano Richards plaque by Miss Juanita Phillips of the Beauty Shows Committee. Your 2022 Miss Photogenic, Miss Davin Shannon McLean. Miss Community Spirited, and she will be sashed by Avia Charles. The Miss Community Spirited is Shannon John, Miss Serco. As we come to the five judge appearances, the judges' decisions are final. And the categories that we looked at is best cultural wear, and this person will be sashed by Shekel Bob. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are now into the judged categories, or as we'd like to say, the meat of the matter. The winner of the best cultural wear category this evening, Miss Flo Shania Peters. Now we come up to the best in swimwear. And this category's winner will be sashed by former Miss SVG, Shalissa Nanton. And best in swimwear goes to Shady McLean, Miss Devin. Shady.
The next category will be best talent. And this person will be sashed by Juanita Phillips. And your best talent for Miss SVG 2022, Miss Lotto Jada, Jada Ross. Ross. We move on now to the best in evening gown. Again to be sashed by Shalissa Nanton. The winner of your evening wear segment this evening, Shannon, Shannon McLean, McLean, Miss Davin. We now move to best interview, and this person will be sashed by Ms. Tamira Brown, Dr. Tamira Brown. And the best interview goes to Ms. Lotto Jada, Jada Ross. Ross. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are now into the top three positions for Miss SVG 2022, the Royal Return. Our second runner-up this evening will be presented with a bouquet and sashed by Shalissa Nanton. And of course, we gave you an idea of what her entire prize package would be a little early on. Third place or second runner up for Miss SVG 2022, Miss Flo Shania, Shania Peters. Peters. And as we move closer to the crown, the first runner-up will be sashed and presented with a bouquet by Miss Juanita Phillips. And the first runner-up, or the person who comes second, is Miss Davin Shadin McLean. And now, ladies and gentlemen, there is a king that rules the monarchy, but we are about to have ourselves a new queen in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And she will be sashed by Miss Avia Charles and crowned by Miss SVG 2019, Shakira Rodney. Oh, sashed, by the minister. sashed by the minister. That is Minister Carlos James. The Honorable Carlos James, Minister of Tourism, Civil Aviation, Sustainable Development, and Culture. And Miss SVG 2022 is... Miss Lotto, Lotto Jada, Jada Ross! Ross. A new queen to reign for another year. All things going well, of course. Of course, when we crowned our last Miss SVG, we assumed it would be for a year.
So we say congratulations, not only to our queen, but to all eight contestants here this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. And show your love, of course. It really is not an easy feat to perform on stage in front of a live audience. So again, we say congratulations to all the winners. They are, once again, the winner of your community project, Shannon John Misetko. Miss Congeniality, Shannon John Misetko. Miss Photogenic, Shadden McLean, Miss Davin. The most community spirited, Shannon John Misetko. The best cultural wear, Shania Peters, Miss Flo. The best swimwear, Shannon McLean, Miss Davin. Best talent, Jada Ross, Miss Lotto. Best evening wear, Shannon McLean, Miss Davin. And best interview, Jada Ross, Miss Lotto. Your second runner up, Shania Peters, Miss Flo. Your first runner up, Shannon McLean, Miss Davin. And Miss SVG 2022 in the Royal Return, Miss Lotto, Jada Ross. We want to say a big thank you and shout out to all our sponsors who made this possible. From Makeup Tonight for the contestants, Makeup by Amir, Makeup by La Pere Beauty, and Her Golden Glow by Crystal. Hairdressers Tonight Glitz and Glamour by Claire and Denny, and Marsha's Hair Magic. We want to say a big thank you to all our sponsors, the Lot National Lotteries Authority, In Transit Export, Sedco, Davin, St. Vincent Bureau Limited, Flo, Massey Stores Limited, Geku, KCCU, National Properties Limited, Island Pop Swimwear, St. Vincent Building and Loan Association, Beachcombers Hotel, Grenadine's House, Sunset Shores Hotel, Embassy of the Republic of China, Taiwan, Career City Store, Acute Cosmetics, House of Aesthetics, Royal St. Vincent and the Grenadines Police Force, Botanical Gardens, VC3 TV, the Agency for Public Information, SBG TV, NBC Radio, Star FM. Ladies and gentlemen, it has indeed been our pleasure to be taking to have taken you through the Royal Return here this evening. We also want to say thank you to, of course, Dynamic Sounds for our sound enforcement and Darren Andrews and others for being a part of the event for this evening. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Khalil Cato. And I am Nika and the son Isaacs. I was going to give my you, full middle name. You sure? And it was my pleasure serving you tonight. Of course, it was indeed our pleasure, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being a part of Miss SVG 2022, The Royal Return, and do get home safely. Get dinner and candles to light Popcorn for your movie night One stop and get it right It's that good We've got what you're looking for All the brands you love and more Get everything at my sister's My sister's is where you wanna be We take care of you like family We do our best we could To treat you like we should It's that good, it's that good Oh, 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 that good, good When you shop, when you
Stores, our family serving your family. Hey Lisa, I really need you to cancel my 3 30 appointment. I need to get to kisses to you right now to redress some money. Peters, you need to take care of this right away. No. Time is of the essence especially with a jam-packed schedule. That's why KCCU's ATM services is the best thing you could have ever wished for. The treasure of convenience in the form of an ATM card that gives you the luxury of accessing your funds anytime and anywhere. So no more trying to beat the clock just to get cash. Now you can get your business done in minutes then get back to your crazy packed life. Do things on your own time with KCCU Go.